Here are stories making news right now. I'm Rob Johnson. A person was shot in a car on the Stevenson Expressway. As my Martinez reports, it's the 20th shooting on a Chicago Expressway this year. Illinois State Police are investigating the 20th Expressway shooting in Chicago this year. This was the scene of the latest shooting, which happened right before noon on I-55 southbound east of Kedzie. It was originally called in as a crash, but when police arrived, they found a man unconscious inside the vehicle. He had two gunshot wounds. The southbound lanes of the Stevenson were closed for a couple of hours as state police investigated. They did around two o'clock open some of the lanes to let traffic through. The man that was in the car was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. At this time, Illinois State Police are not releasing his identity. Meantime, relentless rains have prompted widespread flooding around Chicago. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross reports from near Lakeshore Drive. Jeremy Ross reporting from just off of Chicago's lakefront uh, in the area behind us. That is North Avenue underneath uh, the Lakeshore Drive uh, overpass just underneath. Uh, you can see pooling water there. Uh, worker in the background there trying to relieve the area. Law enforcement blocked off traffic from coming uh, going out or coming in in the area behind us. You could also see no traffic coming in there. Uh, law enforcement also blocking this intersection as well as the ramp right behind us. Meteorologists as well as law enforcement will often tell you if you see these types of ponding formations, do not try and drive through. Do your best to get a detour around. Uh, that is certainly how uh, bad accidents can happen and possibly worse. And finally, here's meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist to tell us about more rain on the way. Mary Kay. Well, heavy rain will continue to move in again tonight for us, and we do have a flash flood watch for the area until 10 a.m. on Friday morning, and then also Cook, DuPage, and Will County have an aerial flood warning until 845 this evening, just because one to three inches of rain already fell, and we're going to see an additional inch or two. Temperature-wise, we have cool air in place at the lakefront at 63, 62 Waukegan, but it's a little more mild and unstable around Ottawa, where we have 75 degrees, Radar is a little concerning too from Davenport to Peoria. These thunderstorms may lift into LaSalle County this afternoon and conditions are favorable that we could see some funnels out of these cells. So we'll have to watch that very carefully as we look at our southwest and southern suburbs. Otherwise, it's cool rain through northwest Indiana and into the city of Chicago, really slowing down the rush hour. Then overnight, we're going to see the rain increase all over again with temperatures holding in the 60s. Now for your Friday, we start wet all over again, so you may need to leave a little early in the morning, but then we're hoping for some improvements by the evening rush where this tapers to just scattered showers and finally the flooding rains will come to an end by Friday night.